Turning now to the weather watch. It feels like we are in the heart of summer right now with this intense heat. The seasons have so many of us confused right now, including this guy. Let's take a quick look. It's a lost deer. It showed up. Oh, we don't have we the have video. It? No, we don't have it. So, so Rob is going to reenact it. Apparently, there was a lost <laughs> no, deer in that. Lincolnwood, and then <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, we'll just let him do the weather. Exactly. Yeah, the hottest day of the year so far. I want to talk temperatures, and then yeah, I have a tropical system to talk about. So it does feel like summertime pattern, almost a late summer pattern. Here's what our weather watchers are showing us: temperatures for the most part into the 90s, or a couple of 80s, and even an 82. There's a little bit of a breeze off of the lake, and you're lucky if you get that breeze because it helps to cool you down. 94 is the warmest temperature that I see from Elton and Schaumburg and plenty of sunshine. The sunshine's helping as well. Take a look at the official readings. 89 still at O'Hare, but yes, we did crack the 90 degree mark. If you missed it earlier, the hottest day of the year and the first time we have hit 90 since back in September. So it has been a while since we've been talking about heat or at least temperatures this warm. Now we do have for the most part clear skies and that's leading to some very warm temperatures, plenty of sunshine. We also have some very hot temperatures to the west. You see a couple of cooler spots. Yeah, that's where we have some uh, some showers and some storms that have popped up and these are kind of feeding off of that heating of the day. We also have an issue with some air quality because it's been so warm. We have kind of a stagnant air mass that's in place. There's an air quality warning that's going to be in place until early tomorrow morning. Watch for that. I know it's warm and you may want to get outside, but if you're susceptible to any issues with air quality, keep that in mind. Look at the temperature trend over the next several days all the way through Memorial Day weekend and even into the day after we're talking about temperatures into the 90s and it begs the question will we break any records well for Monday or for a Sunday we're about three degrees shy although it is possible we could get to 97 the record for Monday is 95 and I think we will at least tie that if we go warmer than that we will break the record after that not quite on Tuesday and then look at the huge drop off in temperatures from 92 on Tuesday to 82 on Wednesday that big cool down comes because of yes a tropical system believe it or not when was the last time it was 95 degrees well it was was actually 95 the last time we were into the 90s, which was September 23rd of last year. If we make it to 96, you have to go all the way back to 2013 in August. That's almost five years ago. And if we make it to 97, which again, some of the models have been showing me that they could get that warm, you have to go all the way back to 2012, almost six years ago. And then yes, we turn our attention to a tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico, which will likely make impact on Florida. And then some of that moisture could even make it into the middle Midwest potentially by between Wednesday and Thursday, and it is in our forecast. I do have some rain showers from that in the seven days. So 68 for tonight, very mild, clear skies, very comfortable, not terribly humid out there. 94 for tomorrow. That is a hot one. Southwest winds still relatively light. Watch for the air quality concerns and 95 for Memorial Day. If we get there, that would tie the record for the day. It is very possible that there's going to be a lot of variability here in the temperature. If you're right along the lake, you may not crack 90 degrees. If you're a little far farther away, you could see those temperatures go much, much uh, warmer than that. And we see the seven day forecast, which includes that cool down and yes, some showers for Wednesday and Thursday, potentially from the tropical system. All right. Thank you, Rob. Yeah.